Hello and welcome to Two Day Rentals. Today I've got two easy ways that I've expanded my Kenner Aliens toy line. Uh, I've never really customized figures before, so I figured I'd take it easy and slow. And uh, also another way just by looking to other lines that Kenner offered in the 90s besides this really wonderful Aliens line and see what we can come up with. You know, just pulling from the source material from the films, I've always wanted to do a different version of a Colonial Marine, maybe something closer to the film. And I kind of saw that the easiest one for me to do is like this deluxe version of Hicks, right? And I've got him there with the NECA accessories, and I think it turned out pretty good. And I was going for like a Hicks, how we see him through most of the film, without the helmet on, right? And so what I did was I had a spare uh, Drake figure and a spare Hicks figure, and I've been kind of compiling some spares and extras for a while to do this and to kind of start going down this path. I popped the head off both the figures, came off pretty easy, got some cheap paint as close as I, as I could find to the brown I was looking for at the hobby store, and started painting it. And honestly, I wasn't happy how it was turning out, so I actually just got a brown paint Sharpie pen to kind of go over it, because it was kind of looking like O'Malley, it was kind of a red brown, and used some rubbing alcohol to sort of distress the hair a little bit, but I'm happy with it. I really am, and I get it, he may look more like Hudson than Hicks, or he may look like another Colonial Marine, but nonetheless, I'm kind of calling him my deluxe Corporal Hicks figure. He looks great with the other figures. It adds just some depth. Uh, again, we know that they've been confused in the past, so if you want to call him Hudson, call him Hudson. But uh, he, you, can, you, know, you could paint the hair a different color if you wanted to, with the Drake figure having such light colored hair, you could kind of go a lot of different directions. I just chose to go this route, but uh, it's just, it, man, it got the wheels turning of everything that I could potentially do. And I have some really neat ideas for figures that I want to do because there's just so much to pull from. And there's so much you can use from the movies. If you want to go that route, uh, again, keeping it closer to what we see on the screen. I opted to bust out the shotgun from the NECA Aliens line. And, you know, those weapons scale great. You know, the shotgun does, the pulse rifles. I was using those when I was filming and taking pictures of these of these figures. And they just look awesome and add that bit of realism. I guess movie accurate realism, if you want. I love thumbing through the old Kenner catalogs for reference. And they had so many great lines. And some of them, they just work right out of the box with the Aliens versus Predator line without any sort of customization at all. The Congo line especially. Because these figures are the same scale as the Aliens figures, there's a lot of options. And vehicles is one of those places I wanted to stop down and talk about just briefly, because the net trap vehicle for the Congo line is perfect for these figures. I mean, look, they fit in there perfectly because they were meant for this size figure. The vehicle itself is, is huge. You know, I, I kind of refer to it here at Two Day Rentals as the Mutt multi-use tactical transport, search and rescue, reconnaissance. You wanted to put some surface-to-air missiles or artillery in the back of that thing. Uh, you could mount that up. So there's really a lot you could do. Uh, it's a people mover, right? You could I mean, load this up here with troops. You can have a fire team. Actually, two fire teams roll out in this thing, and you're ready to rock. So yeah, I'll, I'll talk about this, this vehicle in another video soon, but I love the Mutt. Got to show it some love here. But back to the the Karen Ross figure, she works right off the card, man, and it's great. I'm using her as sort of a weapons engineer at this point. And as you can see, they harvested some of Ripley's parts to make Karen Ross, and even the weapons are very similar. In the comics, there are a lot of weapons developers and manufacturers, and so she could be a weapons engineer from any one of those, not just Waylon Yutani. Her turret is from this line you can find at Dollar Tree called Final Faction. Anytime I'm in there, I look and see if they have anything new and I kind of pick one up for a dollar. This stuff scales perfectly with the aliens and obviously, as you can see, predators. So it's really cool. And this one here happens to be their turret gun that I use for this figure. And I think moving forward, any customs I do as I start to get more complex with it or any figures that I look to pull inspiration from to add to my Kenner Aliens line are going to be from the comics. There are just so many awesome characters and branching story paths and interesting things you can do. And since Kenner adds such variety in this scale, I think we've got a lot of room to expand our line. And that's not to mention other toy lines, Hasbro or Toy Biz, that may have a head swap you could do to fall in line uh, with some of these really awesome stories from the comic books. 
I'm really looking forward to putting my skills to the test and seeing how more complex I can get with these things. And I also cannot wait to hear from each and every one of you. Uh, do you collect for this line? If you do, how do you expand for yours? Do you plan on adding some different figures from Kenner's toy lines? Uh, drop a comment down below. And if you haven't already, if you like what I do here, hit subscribe, hit the notification button. You can stay up to date with everything I do here. I talk a lot about aliens, and as this line grows, we just don't know who's going to be making an appearance, so stay tuned. And it's like I always say at the end of my videos, be kind as we rewind and fast forward through time. Thank you so much for stopping by Two Day Rentals.